Okay, here's leftovers from building 8, 9, and 10. There's a lot of uh, bricks and stuff there. I'm walking down the corridor. This used to be the corridor where the corridor was to walk, but we got it all blocked now with a bunch of bricks and shit. So, anyway, I'm just showing it to you. And they're starting on building 10 today. Or, they got done with building 9 today. And that manufactured home that they had back here for a training room, they demolished that today. And, uh... So there's still all, where all the bricks are at, as you can tell. Like I said, that was the corridor where you'd walk down through there. They had a lot. So. Uh, well, we got some scrap aluminum there. Big pile of it to get picked up tomorrow. There's more bricks. More bricks. This was where building 9 was. Now we're getting over here. We're building these big old boulders. Jeez. Those are some big suckers. Now we're getting over here. We're building 10 was at. This is where they stopped today. This is where right here, where the manufactured home was. The big gravelly area. That's where it was at. And they took it out. Here's a little building. 10 they stopped today uh, as you can look down through here I'll take you across this way very last building of the plant Franco Lake City Ohio very last part building 10 of the plant it was in production for many years that's what it is now pan you around and show you all the way across that's where building nine eight seven six five four three two one and then you see my RV sitting out there that's as far away as they are now that's where it was from one to ten so when all the outbuildings are coming down after this is down in the next day or two the outbuildings are getting started in the water towers that water tower and that silo looking tower there few of the other outbuildings like that building straight there behind you and some of those buildings out to the right there this is how they get it looking to get ready to take it down they get everything completely out of it besides some bricks and blocks so big difference from how it was in here stuff everywhere Here's some uh, transformers. They're probably going to end up scrapping those. That's probably why they're sitting there for make the money off the scrap. Now we'll go outside the back door here. Uh, here's another manufactured home. They just use these for training purposes uh, about electrical components and everything. They'd use that for the employees' training rooms. Like I said, you can see how they clean everything up and scatter it about, and they got it all the way, all shoved out this side door over here. Because this was the only place for them to shove stuff out. So they shoved it out this way today with the, with that right there, the Bobcats. They use those to push everything away and push everything out. You can tell they was using this as a uh, place to shove this stuff too. piles left stuff they need to get, get cleaned up there's another big pile up there so 
And this here is just a big scrap pile, as you can tell. They're going to scrap all that in and turn it in for cash. Again, this is all of building 10, and this is it. I'm going to be starting the demolition tomorrow. This place will probably be almost gone tomorrow. They might have to do it for two days. I think it might take them longer than just one day to get this down, but maybe not. So if they get two, two equipment mover, earth movers working on it, they might get it down in one day. Here's what I said. They shredded uh, telephone poles. That's it. Here's the big mud pits that I gotta walk across to get back to the office. So I'm trying the best I can without getting all over my pants and boots. Like I said, they'll be scrapping that big silo looking thing. Um, this little building here is getting scrapped too. It's nothing but uh, just like a little tin building. It's uh, ceiling's gone and it's no good. Um, this building here has got the new water. This is like the new water shed. It's got the water system in it and stuff. They just put that in. So this building here is going to be salvaged. There's only like two buildings I think on this whole property is going to be salvaged the way I understand it. Here is our office. To the left side is where low and dick guys go. They're all always in here, but they normally go to the left and then our doors right here to the right for security. So, anyway, I'll show her. This. Here's our little office. And this is construction guy stuff. Low and dick guys come in here and eat lunch and everything. Stuff, so. Got a refrigerator. Trash can. What you reminds me. There we go. That's it. That's completely it. Here's the low and dick side of the trailer. That's where Mike sits to do all the paperwork and stuff. Copier, printer, fax, the whole nine yards. So. Anyway. That's it. So I'll catch you later on. Peace.